they love each other. They remind me a lot of Gaia and Brie. When they were babies, they were inseparable. And these two, inseparable. Hey friends, today is Sunday. Everything is pretty quiet because the moms are in the pasture and the babies and the juniors are here. So I am getting ready for somebody to come pick up two more boys today. And it's gonna be Gaia's boy, Blondie, and the other um, boy from Mocha, not the black and white one, but the one I've been calling Pee Pee <laughs> because he reminds me of someone. They're super so. quiet, but once they see me, they won't be. Oh, I'm telling you. They're needy. And so today, we are saying goodbye to Blondie, who's over there. He is the sweetest boy. You would never guess that that's Gaia's boy. Gaia is wild. He is the sweetest little thing. I trim her ho his hooves. I just put him upside down and he put his head under um, kind of my chin and he was oh, so sweet, so, so, so sweet. And then the other kid that is going is inside with Evie because they are truly, both of them, naughties. I just brushed him, like, I'm not kidding you, I just brushed him and now he is inside the hay. But I'm not liking it that he likes to sit there, but this he does it every day, so you know what? One last score. I'm gonna miss you though. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah, you're a good man. You are a good man, sweet boy. You are a sweet, sweet boy. Oh, oh, hello, grandmama. Hello, grandmama. I have them in there because I already cleaned the patio over there. I'll show you. And I don't want them pooping in it. So when people walk in, they don't have to step on their poop. Right, Evie? Right, Eva? Right, Blondie. Oh, Blondie, I'm gonna miss you. But you're gonna have a new family, new friends, a new place to eat green things and be a happy boy. Okay? You'll be a happy boy. You'll be a good happy boy. This is what I mean. I just cleaned the patio. <laughs> And um, so people can come in without stepping on every goat's poop. You join the sign by yourself without the goats? Good deal. I uh, usually give them a little bit of hay that they can stay, they can take with them for the night as they transition into their new hay. Now. I've already done all the prep work that I needed. I have already banded them a while back. But one of the things I like to do before they leave is give them another shot of the antitoxin, which is the, well, the tetanus one in specific, just so they have 10 extra days of protection as they are, you know, their testicles are detaching from their body. I've noticed that you know, the more into that process or closer to losing them, the more that you will see some skin and some stuff exposed. And of course, tetanus is in the soil, so you don't want them exposed to that. There are some people that use the antitoxin, some other people that don't and have great results. I just like to be on the safe side and make sure that they get it when they get banded and before they leave now it's one of those things that recently it's been really hard to find the antitoxin near me so if you are not able to find it and you want the tetanus protection you could use the cdnt because the t on the cdnt is for tetanus and that will protect them um, for a year and then you'll have to do a boost shot every year to keep them up to date. Uh, this one, it's only the antitoxin just to protect them specifically uh, from tetanus. And it's, 
you know just because of the bending process and having that exposed and if you've ever seen the process on how it works the closer that they are to losing them the more that you will see maybe a little bit of um, redness and not because of an infection but you'll see how it's detaching and it's all normal so some people add blue coat i don't but i do really like to you know kind of make sure that they have that shot so they had that shot today they got their selenium i trimmed their hooves and what else did i do well i brushed them around this time of the year um, they are losing a lot of hair and so i like to do a lot of brushing and you know some of them really enjoy it others hate it like pp the small kid from mocha he um he hated it and i had to hold him and it was a pain but some others like blondie i was able to brush him and he was just fine now my process when they're being picked up is very simple usually the kids are picked up in the afternoon um usually you know after people get off work or they're done with their day they come and pick them up i like to tell them that they're small enough to fit in a medium medium um dog kennel so they know that they're not huge goats uh you'd be surprised the amount of times that people get here and they're like are they old enough to be away from their mom and it's just that you know regular or standard size goats are way bigger than this kids at three months of age and they are three months of age already so they're good to go um, the way that i been weaning them is just by separating them for a few hours and a little bit more hours and more hours and by now you can hear that they're very quiet and i separate them because the moms go to the pasture in the beginning it's about two hours then i do three hours then i do five hours and then the final really is six hours so by the time i bring them in they're already in bed in their own little stall and well in their stalls and uh, the moms are able to be milked and they just you know they move on so they're not really separated they still see each other and they still try to nurse but the more that they're separated the more that the moms will understand that it's time for weaning if they're not ready for it and they are so ready to wean these babies they're not really wanting to nurse anymore so it's been uh, a good transition now you can hear nothing in the background but the birds uh, the moms are in the pasture although it's kind of hot to be in the sun but they're okay they're eating and they're being super super happy and the good thing about being in pasture for so many hours is by the time they come in they get their grain they get their alfalfa to be milked and then they go to bed but even if i put hay um, they eat just they nibble on it a little bit because they're not really hungry so i am basically using one bell for boys and girls for the entire week so being in pasture really really helps and moving them around since we don't have it fenced is you know kind of the labor intensive part of the whole thing but it's totally worth it how i do is i usually put the dads first so the boys will go out in the pasture really early in the morning so i don't feed them breakfast and then by midday i put them back in their pen they're full so they don't want to eat and then i bring the moms out at around 12 31 and they'll stay until six or seven depending on how loud or how ready to be milked they are so it's kind of helping with not having to feed them so much hay and at the same time i don't know if i share that video with you but i did the intro for it um, about how i'm trying to turn this into a small pasture for them by using this method put the name on the screen um that it's basically putting the wasted hay and it's been working so i think that within the next couple of years we will have grass in this area but again it's, it's all i always say it's always going to take time for us because we 
don't want to just spread the seeds that's not the point we're trying to use what we're wasting and in this case is the wasted hay so the little experiment it's been working uh, and I'm super excited about it so Captain America and Clara's black boy that I call Papi uh, he is they're both leaving soon I just need to confirm the day that they will be picked up and then the only boys that will be here for a little bit longer but not much longer are uh, Athene's twins and I I'm trying to leave them with mom. I'm not milking her. You know, I'm not separating at night. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, so they can have as much milk as they want because I really want them up to their weight. And so I'm just getting whatever they're not eating. I am getting it for myself from Athene. But um, I think I just want to be done with babies by the second week of July because we are going to go to our first show at the end of July. And I really don't think I can be dealing with people coming over and picking up kids and having, you know, their information ready and that kind of thing. So it's just... It's just a thing. And I'm also going to update you on that little boy that I showed you that he was very, very sick. Um, I'll update you on him in another video. But um, it's 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 been a challenge, really. And twice I thought he wasn't going to make it. Now I have him on Coxidia because he tested uh, positive. Well, I don't know how to say it, but he does have Coxidia after running a fecal now this last time it was showing so now he's on medicine so that's a little boy i'm telling you he's eating over there but he's um he likes to eat while he's sitting down he's now chewing the cut so i think he's doing a little better from this morning that's evie she's inside the thing because she is she is her mother's daughter um toad my husband is like, you're going to have to put them collars because I won't be able to recognize. So now Toad has a blue collar. Hopefully he'll do okay, but I, I'm trying not to be too hopeful because he, there are some days where he can't even get up. And there are some days that he's doing just fine. So it's I'm, I'm at the point where I'm trying to make a decision on what's going to be best for him today. Evie Everest, which is Gaia's little girl, the black one, she was stepping on him for about five minutes because I could hear him scream, but I thought he was just trying to get out of where he was. And then when I came and saw him, she was stepping on his stomach and um, she wasn't moving and he wasn't moving either. So I took him in, um, I took him to the pasture, I had him over there with his brother Toad and uh, they were just a mess, they were just crying, they're not used to being in the pasture by themselves, so uh, it's, once I know what's happening I'll update you. <laughs> 